Hi, I'm Cody with Wall Street Breakdown. Now, we've got some news out of China that doesn't have a whole lot of tangible information yet, but what we do know is that Alibaba, we know them. This is big time stuff. Anytime Alibaba's doing anything, you know this is moving the needle. Alibaba has purchased video game maker, online video game company. It's very, uh, it's very opaque at this moment. It's not near as transparent as we'd like it to be. The company is called eJoy. Now, the Alibaba group is going to spin off a digital media segment of the company, and they're going to have not only online platform, but uh, an interactive entertainment. So two different divisions. There's no saying on what the eJoy team is actually going to be doing, but knowing that Alibaba is moving into this sector, we're going to get at least a segment of eJoy doing something predominant, I would imagine, in regards to Alibaba really getting full throttle into video gaming in China, because that's really where the money's at. They got about 523 million active users in China in the video game industry. So people that are out there playing some sort of console, playing video games on the computer, whatever it is. Now, China isn't the most... Let's say their history isn't overtly democratic. There hasn't been as much video gaming there as there has been in the Western world, obviously. Or in a lot of the neighboring countries, even, even by China. But China has definitely let down their guard recently when it's come to things like first world entertainment. To a degree, video games definitely being one of them. And now we're seeing a boom take off with, like I said, well over 500 million users in China. The industry last year in China was estimated to be worth about $11.8 billion. Now that's a lot of money, $11.8 billion, especially when we know that Alibaba and the Chinese government, however you want to call it, they're definitely working together, right? They're, uh, they're in cahoots. China wants this company to do well. They want it to be a global powerhouse because while they do have a lot of global powerhouses in the industrial sector, right? CRRC, like the rail company, they've got a lot of shipping companies. They've got a lot of really major companies over in China. They don't have any that jump off the page and really drive mainstream media. I'm sure China wants that, right? They're on the same playing field with all these other major countries. They want to have one of these companies that people can point to and say like, that's the bellwether for China for sure. Like everybody looks to that and associates it with China. Alibaba is definitely that. So at 11.8 billion last year, that segment's expected to grow about 90%. 90% revenue growth in the video game sector in China in the following year. Alibaba, obviously, with a lot of money, is bringing this eJoy into the fold, and they're going to find a way to definitely bring video games to China. And I'm sure the Chinese are going to love it. This is their home country company. This is the, these are the guys. They're, these are the guys they're rooting for. And with a mind like Jack Ma's and the kind of money that they have, I imagine we're probably going to see some really good video games out of Alibaba as well. Only time will tell what the timetable is going to be as to when that's going to happen. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm Cody with Wall Street Breakdown. Go ahead, click the subscribe button, notification bell, leave a thumb up for this video, and please leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. I'd like to think we're doing pretty swell. Have a good day.